What is up? Welcome to another episode. Today we are building a paint booth in the garage because last time we did body work was on the Miata and it absolutely destroyed my garage. It got dust everywhere. And this weekend Cam is coming up to get his car prepped for paint. So I figured why not spend a little bit of money and build one of these little makeshift paint booths and hopefully it'll isolate all that dust in one area and we don't have to worry about getting dust everywhere else. I've got some wood, I've got some plastic, and a bunch of other stuff to hopefully make a nice little paint booth, and it's pretty cheap. So uh, right now I'm about 150 bucks in, so let's get to it. Let's kind of go over all the things I've got and then dive into actually building this. So the plan is to have it 16 foot long and then seven foot wide, but I think that might be a little bit too short. So we might do maybe 10 foot, just like a little bit longer than the door. And I've got two by four, they're eight foot long, and then I have this four mil plastic wrap i think it is 10 foot by 100 foot and then i got some clear tape to tape the seams so nothing too crazy oh and i've also got some screws with a little star point on it so it's a little bit easier to drive through the wood so not much let's get into laying out the frame to where we actually want it and then start screwing this thing up So this is where we're at so far. I've got the first section kind of framed up and then I'm adding these little side rails around the whole perimeter. I pulled the Miata in just so we can kind of see and make sure we got enough room for Cody when he's working on Cam's car. And I think we are, I bust my ass. <laughs> I think we're good. Come around the back. Should have enough room back here. I might add a little bit more, but we're good. Since we're adding the structure right here, which I did not plan for, I had to go back out and get some more wood, which good thing we got the Volvo, which I don't think y'all have known about it yet because I was going to put it in the other video, but that video took longer to make. Anyways, I got a Volvo. <laughs> um, it is my daily now, so I don't have to drive the Type R as much. And bam, it's a truck. <laughs> so I picked up 10 more things of wood. Hopefully that should get us to where we need to be. So let's get that unloaded and start working back on this, getting the perimeter done. And I think we should be good from there. I think all of our measurements and everything where it sits now is good. If Cody comes tomorrow and ends up being too small, we can always add up here where we scabbed on another board to kind of make it a little bit longer. Regardless, let's jump back into it.
the frame's finally done. Now I can move on to putting the plastic sheeting over all of this. When I put it on, I'm going to staple it and then kind of pull it, staple it, pull it, staple it, and try to get it as taut as we can. I'm going back to the frame. This thing kicked my ass. I'm no carpenter or woodworker, so definitely learned a lot of lessons with it. I'm also using cheap wood that's warped doesn't help at all either. But life lessons for later on, next wood project. For now, this thing is pretty sturdy. I added these trusses to hopefully help with everything. It was really rickety before that. I'll try to show some of the framing on the opposite end. It's a little cockeyed. I tried my best to get it level, but again, lessons learned. Uh, there's probably better ways I could have done it. No, there is definitely way better ways I could have done it. But regardless, it should be good enough for painting in. So let's go ahead and get this plastic wrap on and then finish her up. So here's what I'm talking about where it is off a lot but it like i said it'll do the job but if, if you watch the video this far and you see things i'm doing wrong please leave in the comments i would love to hear a better way to do things especially things that i know zero about so if you're good at woodworking construction framing whatever please let me know in the comments so for future projects i can do a little bit better let's get to this plastic We got it all wrapped up. So ended up running it over the top, getting it on both sides, then get another sheet and just put it on the sides. I don't recommend that, it was a pain in the ass. I think a better option is to maybe go over and over and then put this side with like one straight sheet, but I don't know. It was, it was a pain solo, so maybe have a friend help you <laughs> because this kicked my ass solo, but this is what it's like inside. And I feel pretty good, I feel pretty confident. I feel like we got everything isolated. I'm just leaving this open so I can pull the car in. They're not spraying color or anything, they're just priming. And then they'll come back in a week to final sand and basically get it ready to go into a real booth. But hopefully this will keep all the mess at least isolated and it doesn't go all through the shop like it did last time. Also, if this turns out pretty good, maybe we can keep it in the shop, push it out to the side and use it for when I need it for one of my cars, maybe the brown wagon. But regardless, turned out good. Like I said, if there's something you saw that I did wrong, please let me know. I'm always uh, looking to learn something new and a better way of doing stuff. But I hope this helps someone. I hope you get a better idea of doing this and maybe it'll turn out a little bit better than mine. But regardless, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'll see you next one. I'm cold hearted and broke. I cold started and choke. I grow part with my soul to vote harder to grow. I know what. Hey. I know what, hey, yeah. I'm cold hearted and broke. I cold started and choke. I grow part with my soul. The vote harder to grow. I know what, hey, yeah. I know what, hey. Can you kick it and rip it? Listen to this and said I'ma take shit. Limited in edition, I'm spitting and kicking nape shit. Lay sick, wish you could be seeing what I'm chasing. I've been living tragic, the feeling isn't so basic. Listen, I've been living out with no pot to piss in the opposition that I embody is no competition. I holler bitchin' that products are common vision. Suicidists, I'm not the bend it, they probably not out to get it, no mission. Ayy, bitches I when they talk about how I do it. I'm moving fluent, you using the opposite of what's true in the new.